Welcome back everybody to another All Things Nerd video. As always, my name is Nathan. Welcome back to exploring the world of Azeroth in World of Warcraft. Today's adventure leads us to the battle for uh, Azeroth. We are in the raid. Uh, currently, we are in Battle of Daza Alor. I think I'm saying that right. I, don't know, I always butcher names, but welcome to the BFA raid, guys. Uh, we're going to be breaking out of bounds. I'm going to show you how. And uh, guys, I just want to say thank you so much. We are so close to 5,000 subscribers. That is blowing my mind. Um, also, we're getting really big on TikTok. Um, I'm excited for that. If you haven't joined, I'll put the uh, TikTok link. If, if you're on TikTok, I've been doing posting shorts on there to advertise all things nerd. Uh, also started an Instagram account recently. And uh, yeah, we're doing really well. So welcome to... Uh, Another OOB video. Also, if you haven't joined the ATN Discord, all the links will be in the description of the video. So let's get started, guys. Um, so I'm going to show you how to get out of bounds here. And it's fairly simple. Now, where I'm at is actually right in the beginning of the raid. So we're at the port of Zandalar. Uh, all you need to do is you can either go left or you can go right. It's up to you. But there's some really, really neat stuff to see here. And because it's a lot easier, I'm actually going to go stick to the left side. Um, so you can go right or go left. And as always, I'm playing a demon hunter. What you're going to want to do is just come right out here. Jump right to the water and just jump across. And there you go. You're basically already out of bounds. You're going to hit a wall here, so just be aware. But that doesn't matter. You go around it. For whatever reason, Blizzard didn't want to put more protection out here. Uh, so... Yeah, it's really simple. But uh, let's go take a look around. Now, there is a lot of cool things to see out in this raid. Uh, there's going to be three main key points that I want to point at. Uh, some really interesting things that actually surprised me. So we're going to mount up and let's go take a look. Now, as you can see, we're already basically out of the map. Um, and you can just come up right up to the steps over here. And there you go, you're officially out of the raid. Now there is this weird smoke and mirror fire forest thing going on over here on the left. Let's go take a look at that first. I do love the ambience of this raid and the out of bounds area just because um, I love like the jungle type setting and I love the ambience of like the tigers and the birds and all the animals. You can hear the sound going on in the background. Now I'll be honest with you guys, I have been out here before already once and uh, I haven't ran into any death walls yet. Now, I may run into a random death wall that I've never found yet, so just bear with me if I do. <laughs> but look at this up front. So Blizzard does a really good job of smoke and mirrors, and as you can tell, everything's still intact here. It's just a wall of smoke and fire just to represent, like, the, you know, war going on on the side. You can get a really good shot going on over here, especially of the whole map. But what's really interesting is, uh, I didn't mention before, is they actually keep the whole place of Zandalar out here. You can go all the way to Volden, Nazmir, which we will go. There's a few things there. You can go all the way to Voldon. And uh, you can actually even travel all the way out of bounds because there is no fatigue out this way at all that I have found. And we're actually going to be doing that later in the video because there's some very interesting stuff that I want to show you. Now, as we come out here, we can kind of go into the smoke here, but what's really strange is that you can't actually use uh, your, you can't use like potions or anything. So like right now, if I try to use my, it won't let me do the inky black potion, which I thought was very strange, but you can't actually use it for whatever reason. I don't know why. Normally you could use potions and stuff at free will, right? So why it doesn't let you in the Sandalar, the out of bounds raid, I don't know. So, all right, let's go ahead out this way. We're going to go take a look around the island here. Now, as we adventure out this way, there's going to be a really cool, like, safari type feel to this. Everything is gone because, obviously, we're out of bounds. You're normally never supposed to be out here. I don't think Blizzard was really putting in too much effort to protect whatever's out here. Because it's literally just the island of Zandalar that is just empty, so... Now, if you guys can tell, I'm sounding a lot better. <laughs> I was sick for a while. Uh, I was sick since probably last Tuesday. I had um, gotten sick with the flu, and I'm still feeling it even today. I'm still feeling kind of the repercussions of that flu. Uh, but uh, I am starting to feel better, which is really good. My voice is coming back, so that's nice. 
And we kind of get a backside effect of what's kind of going on over here. Yeah, it's kind of funny to me that Blizzard just chose just this backside to have the effect and that's it like nowhere else not up here it's not up there just that little area right here they decided to put the smoke and mirrors there they didn't want to do it for another area and we're gonna mount up and we're just gonna keep going out this way here you guys go you can kind of get a little better feel of what's like to jump in this fog area here we don't want to drop back down and we're just gonna keep going out Look at that look. <laughs> Inside the fish there. That's kind of freaky, huh? Now, what's really interesting is uh, they actually load in a bunch of the stuff beforehand. If you guys remember in the raid, as you go up the stairs and all that into the back area, you can see the uh, floating wings of the uh, ghostly figures out there. I thought that was very neat. I'm going to turn off my mic for a minute and I'm going to let you guys kind of get a feel of the sound and the ambience going on out here. Now we're actually not gonna head back into the raid. We're gonna head out this way. And like I said, I'm gonna turn off my mic and let you guys enjoy the sound for about a minute here to kind of get the feel of the ambience, what's going on out here. I love the sounds out in this raid. <laughs> it's so cool exploring a whole Xandalar island and it being empty. I don't know. I just think that's really awesome. The scenery here is beautiful as well. I thought Blizzard did a great job with this. Now we're going to be coming up to one of our first stops up here, and that's going to be over here in Nazmir. Um, there is a very interesting, very uh, strange thing that you're about to see. I'm not going to spoil it, but if you've ever wanted to see what this place was like without anything loaded in, you can kind of give an idea of where I'm going with this. So let's go head over these mountains here and let's go take a look. Now, as you can see, you can actually see the raid in the background over there of the head of the... Uh, snake now if you guys see where we're at in Nazmir here you can I'm gonna uh, go glide down here check this out look at that the heart of darkness is fully gone in the raid look at that it does it normally it's supposed to be here right there's nothing there the heart of darkness is completely gone the pyramid's gone, everything's gone, so it's really neat to go see. Let's go check it out. Take a screenshot, that looks really neat. All right, we made it to the ground. Let's go take a look at the Heart of Darkness. It's just like a giant crater out here, which is really fun to see.
This is definitely one of the bigger OOBs, that's for sure. When you get a whole island loaded in, in the background. We got like a Lion King feel out here. Now check out this Heart of Darkness crater. And normally you guys remember that huge pyramid's supposed to be right here. So if you ever wanted to see what was out here without the pyramid in the way, here you guys go. Let me give you guys a better shot. I'm going to zoom in here. So it's just completely empty altogether. There are some leftover assets though. So if we come out this way, let's go take a look at what's going on over there. It looks like there's like some blood of particle effects going on. So they do keep some of the stuff out here, but... All of it's pretty much gone. And actually, another interesting thing, too, is if you go inside of there, which we'll go in there in just a second, you'll notice that all the caves are filled in, so there are no caves underground. Now, they might still be there, but you can't actually access them when you're in OOB, so we have to glitch. But unfortunately, because we're in a raid, we can't use toys or anything like that. Look at that. They do keep some of the particle effects of the blood. Look at the river of blood going down here. That's really awesome. It's very heavy over here. Alright. Let's go jump into this crater. I want to give you guys a better look at what's going on down here. So, this is what it looks like unmodeled. It's just one giant crater down here. So we are definitely in the heart of it. I had to make a I had to make a joke, guys. I had to do it. It was just too vulnerable. I had to do it. Right? Get it? Heart of darkness? We're in the heart of it. Ah. No pun intended. I think I'm gonna stick to my day job. <laughs> Not gonna be a comedian. <laughs> <laughs> As you guys can tell here, normally these are the entrances to the, you, you know, the old deer raid, and then you also have the under rot that way. But you can see that none of it's actually here. It's all filled in, which is kind of disappointing. I, I wish the cave system was still here. I was really hoping for that, but everything's gone. So. Really neat. I think this is one of the coolest areas in this out of bounds. So let's keep moving on and let's go head out to Volden. And let's go take a look and see what's out there. Now, going out to Volden, uh, there is something very strange that the developers did when they made this OOB. Uh, for whatever reason, I don't know why they chose this, but they did. And I'll show you here in a minute as we travel over there. Excuse me, I'm going to get something to drink here, some water. All right. We're going to go up the path here. And we're going to go head out this way. We got a little bit of a traveling to do. Well, let's go head out this way. And you guys kind of get a cool feel of the vibe that's going on out here again. I like this swampy texture area. I think it's really neat. Oh, the music changed. Here we go. It's weird being in an empty area here. kind of freaky out here lions tigers and bears oh my 
I feel like it's like the Wizard of Oz. Oh, there is a cave out here. But we're not going there. We're heading out this way. So a lot of the particle effects and some of the models are still out here. And they do play the music, so they do recognize that you are in a certain zone. Now guys, I know that uh, this video has already been running for about 15 minutes. I want to thank you guys for those who have still stuck around to this point. Just bear with me. There's something really, really awesome I want to show you here towards the end of the video. So stick with me through to the end. Let's go ahead over here. And here we are. We have made our way into Bolton. Dune. And as you can see, the whole entire area of that raid is still here with the temple of Sethorus. Sephralis. I think I'm saying that right. Let's go head into there. And I want to show you guys, you can actually go enter the raid in there. But not like you think though. All right, let's go ahead into here. Oh, I'm stuck on a wall here. So as you can see, everything is still here and intact. So you can see how much they actually keep outside these OOBs. It's insane. You know, like Blizzard didn't have to keep all this out here, but they did. I guess it was just easier that way. I don't know. I love this shot. Can we get a cool screenshot? I think we missed it. Let's try one more time. We're going to see if we can catch the lightning. I don't think we got it, but that's cool, though. Ooh, might be lagging a little bit. Just a heads up. Now here we go. Now this is actually the entrance to the raid, if you remember. So you can go in here. And what's funny is you can actually fully ride your mountain here too. So it doesn't actually recognize you're in a building, which I thought was kind of funny. All right, let's go ahead back this way. Now, if you guys might notice something in the background, there is grade untextured space on the mountain over here. I wanted to show you guys this because I don't know why out of the whole map that they kept, they decided to untexture the, the gray space out here for whatever reason, they didn't want to keep it. Maybe it was just too hard to keep or that area was just too difficult to keep in a out of bounds. I don't know, but I thought something was very strange is that uh, they kept that uh, untextured. So untextured spam in the chat. All right, let's go get up the hill here. If I can give you guys a better look at what's going on. So you notice there in the background, let's go take a look at that. So let's go fly out this way. I love that the ambient sounds still are here. 
It's such like a desolate place out here. So here we go. So look at this up close. So they got this whole mountain thing going on. They got all of the maps, right? All of this area. But for some odd reason, this is untextured. It's unloaded. I don't understand why out of all the areas they decided to do that. Now, I guess for some reason they just didn't want to load in this particular mountain space right here. Which, I don't know. I thought was very strange. Why keep all of this and just unload this? I don't know. Maybe someone can explain or someone knows why. But see, isn't that strange? Well, yeah, so it's like you, you know, you normally you'd find this out of bounds of areas, right? You go on to like the gray texture, untextured space, and this is it. So for whatever reason, they didn't want to load the models in here, which I thought was very strange. All right, guys. Well, that's the second thing on my list I wanted to show you. The last thing I wanted to show you guys inside this raid and out of bounds is well let's make our way back out this way now what we're gonna do is i hope you guys can bear with me you guys see najatar all the way up there we're gonna go make our way out there so let's go go back let's mount up and let's go take a look back out there now something really cool and fascinating about this oob is you can actually swim all the way out to Nashatar, and I'm going to show you right here. guys do bear with me here i know that this is a lot of walking in this video but also want to give you a tour of how much they actually keep out here which is a ton as you can tell and it's kind of a more scarier part of the map and by the way i love my winter spring mount <laughs> it's one probably one of my favorite mounts in the game all right we just want to make sure we're heading out in the right direction here yeah, we are. Okay. Well, let's keep going out this way. If you guys have been enjoying these videos, press uh, type yes in the chat. If not, uh, let me know and put no. <laughs> you can be honest with me. You're not going to hurt my feelings. Look at that, the lightning's still striking in the background. Whew, it's quite a journey out here. But we're doing good, we're making good time here. Oh, 
hitting some sort of pole there on accident. Oop. Okay, let's take a left. Then let's come down this way. Let's go across the giant turtle that was not alive anymore, sadly. All right, guys, so we finally made it out to the ocean. Whew, that was a long walk or ride, I should say. Now, we're going to head directly in the way of Nashatar. We're already going the wrong way, so we're going to point our camera out this way. We're going to make our way all the way out to Nashatar. Now, something very strange is, is going to happen when we start making our way out there. Now, there is no fatigue out in the ocean. I've already tested it. Thank God. Uh, so you can travel out freely as much as you want to go. So let's go make our way over to Nashatar right now. Where are we? All right, a little more that way, right? Yeah, oh, I like that. Okay, let's keep running in this direction. Ah. Good thing we brought our inflatable shoes. All right. Now let's keep heading out this way. And let's go all the way over to Nashatar. And let's go head out that direction. So this might be a little bit of a walk. I'm just warning you guys. But it's really... Something is... It's just... I don't know how to explain it. But I'm going to show you what's out here. All right, how we doing? Oh, we're getting there. Okay, we're almost over to Nashatar, so let's keep going. Now, really neat, as you can see the fatigue line out here, right there, right? Usually it's all fatigue water, but because we're out of bounds, the fatigue doesn't work. Usually fatigue does, uh, which I'm glad it doesn't out here. So I'm surprised they didn't put fatigue out here. Now, I will be honest with you guys, if you drop down here and you try to swim, you will get disconnected. So, uh, just be wary of that. Alright, I think we're, yep, alright, now we're heading towards Nashatar, so let's keep going. Something really scary being out here is you can hear like the ambience still so you hear like giant sea creatures out here in the distance Okay, now something strange is about to happen. I'm gonna show you guys something cool being out here. Hopefully it hits the queue. It did for me last time. Let's see what happens. This map is massive. And we will hit a wall here soon. 
because you can only go so far out but this is not what i wanted to show you guys hopefully it plays it as you can tell we are all the way up here in nashatar can't see us on the map unfortunately but look where we're at in the middle of the ocean here almost going to Coltyrus. Is it not going to do it? That's kind of disappointing. Normally, when you come out here... So, I came out here yesterday. And when I swam out here... Do you hear that giant, like... I don't know, there's something in the water out here. But normally, the music will change. And it'll actually recognize you're in Nashatar without being in Nashatar. But it's not changing the music, which is really sad. So, I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> It did it for me yesterday. It actually played the Nash guitar music and the whole music changed and it showed uh, that I was there. So maybe I just got to find it, but uh, I won't keep you guys too much longer. So well, thank you guys for joining me out here. Sorry about that. I thought that the music would change. Maybe I just got ahead in another direction, but yeah, I was out here all the way in Nash guitar and uh, the music changed too, like we were in Nash guitar. So I don't know what changed or what happened. But maybe just need to find it again. I don't know. But anyways, guys, I just want to thank you for joining me on this OOB adventure for the Battle of Death Alor. I think I'm still butchering that name. <laughs> um, but thank you guys for tuning in. We're almost to 5,000 subscribers. That's incredible to me. Um, I just want to thank everybody who's been supporting the channel, everybody who's been subscribing, liking the videos, commenting, joining the ATN Discord. It's just been such a cool ride. Um, you know, we got more years ahead to come for ATN and uh, I'm just very blessed to be able to run this channel. So just want to thank you guys. And uh, as always, my name is Nathan. I'll catch you on the next video. Take care.